Yo, how's it going everybody and welcome back to another video. So today I want to make an update video to one that I made two years ago where we learned how to launch a free Node.js Heroku API. And since then there has been a couple of updates to the process and it warrants a updated video. So this is what we're going to be building right here. This is a simple JSON API where uh, it's being hosted on Heroku and we have a couple of players inside of there. And without further ado, let's get into it. So I have to assume that you already have the Heroku CLI installed onto your computer. If you don't have it installed, you can follow the link in the description down below. It'll take you to this page called devcenter.herokuapp.com. And here you can actually follow the installation process for your operating system. So I have Mac, so I follow the Mac one. And if you have Windows, you can follow the Windows one. Alrighty, so now inside of my VS Code terminal, what I'm going to be doing is we need to init a simple project. So I'll do npm init and the package name is probably fine, the version fine. Description, I'm going to call it Heroku App API Updated Tutorial. And every single, every other thing I'm just going to press enter for and press OK when it saves. And then after that, what we're going to do is we're going to do npm install express dash dash save. And I'm going to go inside of my package.json file and underneath my test right here, I'm going to give it a start. So whenever you type in npm start, we're going to run a command and that'll be node index.js. And underneath my dependencies, we need to give it something called engines. And this engines is going to have node and we need to give it the version of node that we're running. In my case for today, we have uh, version 16.1.14.1. Alrighty, now what we need to do is we need to create a index.js file which is going to host all of our stuff to be able to route between our different routes and ex and also require our data JSON file that we eventually make. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do touch index.js and inside of here the first thing is going to be const express is equal to require express and after that I'm going to do const app is equal to express and then I'll do let port is equal to process.env port or we'll run it at 3000 and I'll just do a simple get request at just slash so I'll do app dot get slash request response and for our response we're going to send back a simple hello world just so that we have something appearing inside of our actual browser and we want to listen to this app somewhere, so I'll do app dot listen to port three thousand. So I'll do console dot log backticks. I'll do example app listening on port three thousand. There we go. And now what I'll do is I'll do uh, npm start. Cool, so now we can see that it's working on a slash route. We we'll go to hello world, perfect. So now what we need to do is we need to create a JSON file that's gonna contain all of our data. So I'm gonna close my example app right here and I'll do touch data.json. And for the data.json file, I'm just gonna go ahead and paste what I have. And it'll just be an array of objects inside of there. There's gonna be some sort of, uh, there's gonna be some keys and values, so it'll be name, with the player's name, the team, and the points per game that they're averaging. I don't think this is 100% accurate. I think it's actually 25% right here. 25 points per game, there we go. Now we need to actually create a git ignore file. I forgot about this last time, but it's very important. So I'll do touch dot git ignore. And inside of the git ignore, I'm just gonna add dot slash node modules because we don't actually need to even push these into our Heroku app and we'll save mm -hmm. ourselves some money all right, now what we need to do is we need to import our data.json file into our index.js file. And that's really simple. All we have to do is const import data is equal to require, and we'll just do dot slash data.json. And now we want to actually send this data at a certain route. So I'll do app.get, I'll do slash API data at request response and for a response we're just going to go ahead and send back our data so we'll just send import data like so so now if we go to this route we'll see the data so let's go ahead and do npm start 
and if we do localhost 3000 slash API data, we will see our API data. Let me zoom out a bit. There we go. Now let's go ahead and actually push this bad boy onto Heroku. So since I already have the CLI for Heroku installed and I already have a Heroku uh, account made, we're gonna go ahead and log in. So what I'm gonna do is Heroku login. And it should open up on this browser right here, hopefully. Oh, oops, there we go. And we're just gonna go ahead and click on login right here. Perfect, so now we're logged in into our account. So now what we have to do is we need to create a proc file. Now this proc file is gonna be responsible for uh, Heroku to be able to know what commands it needs to actually run the application and to start it up. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna touch proc file with the capital P and inside of here I'm just gonna go ahead and do web and I'll do node index.js and that's all we need. So since our app is really small and this is the only line of code that we need to run uh, our uh, Heroku API. If you have a larger app, I would highly recommend going through this proc file page right here if you run into any issues. And the link to this is in the description down below. Alrighty, so this is the part of the last tutorial where some people ran into some issues. And thankfully, uh, Wilfred Almeida, uh, he was able to help a lot of people out. And I figured that it's best to actually just make a separate video on this all together. So what we have to do is, before we do anything, in my git ignore, I accidentally added dot slash. Just go ahead and get rid of that. It'll just be simple node modules like that. And we need to do git init. We initialize the repository, then we'll do git add space, and then we'll do git commit dash m first, oops, first commit. Yeah, no space between the m and the dash. There we go. And now what we have to do is we have to do Heroku create. Uh, we have to give it a, a unique name than anything else. I'll do my NBA API updated app. That's very unique, I hope. There we go. So now we have it created. So if I actually go into the URL, we should see absolutely nothing. Oops, it opened up in the wrong browser. There we go. So now we see absolutely nothing there right now. So let's go ahead and actually push all of our stuff into there. So to push it, all you have to do is git push Heroku master. And once it's done pushing, let's go ahead and refresh the page. We should see hello world at just slash, hopefully. So after giving it some time, I'm just gonna go ahead and refresh this page and we should see hello world, there we go. And if I go into slash API data, we should see our API right there. Now, if you don't see this happen immediately where you don't see hello world or anything, you just see the nothing has been created yet, let's go ahead and push it again, do another git commit and um, push it to master once more, and then it should work. Alrighty, so now we can see that we have our API data working right here and we can access this anywhere from Postman to our own on our own projects whenever we want. And if you enjoyed this video, be sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.